Hey, this is Pastor Alex Blake with Greater Faith Christian Center, and uh, welcome to another episode of What Really Matters. And hey, welcome to my home as well. So glad that you can join us again this week for a few minutes. And uh, I tell you what, I'll spend a little bit of time on Facebook today, trying to get caught up with uh, friends and family. And man, what a great tool just to kind of get caught up with family. And uh, at a click of a button, your worlds come together. And you see pictures and you see you send messages and man what a wonderful and awesome concept you know and as i was thinking about facebook just the other day i was thinking about you know my profile picture you know and how over the years you know my profile has changed quite a bit and uh just a few years ago you know i had a head full of hair you know and so every now and then i'm tempted to go back and pull an old picture to upgrade my profile and uh you know, I know you've never done that before. You don't have any old pictures of yourself up on Facebook. Uh, but we always want to try to upgrade and, 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 and to look better and present ourselves better. And that's cool. What's important and what really matters is that we upgrade the right profile, that we look at our heart, we upgrade what's happening there. Uh, the cool thing about Facebook is that, man, you can have a picture. And my picture may be beautiful, but you look down at the words and the writing and the words don't necessarily match, match the beautiful picture that you see on that wall. So many times in life, you know, we have a beautiful outward exterior, but man, what comes out of our mouth just doesn't really match it at all. You know, and as I was praying and, and uh, just really you know, studying the Word of God, I began to look at my own life and, and look at my own profile and, and really began to kind of challenge myself. And, you know, Luke 6 and 45 talks about out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. You know, that your words are like a footprint to your heart, you know, and you can really see you know, your heart when you hear people's words. And so I want to ask you what kind of words are coming from your lips uh, that are echo of what's in your heart. You know, the Bible say, says that we have the ability to create life and death with the power of our tongue, you know, with the power of our words, you know. So I begin to think about how can I create life in my home with my children? How do I encourage them? How do I build them? How do I speak life into them? How do I be able to create and shape their world with my words? And so I want to tell them often how wonderful they are, and how beautiful they are, you know, how amazing they are, and how important and how proud I am of them. That shapes their world. Same way with my wife. And I really want to be able to do a better job of shaping her world or our world together with my words. What kind of world are you shaping with your words? Is your profile picture beautiful? but the words not matching the profile? Uh, do you have just a, a great uh, image, but really beneath the surface, the, the, the comments that are written on your heart don't really match? The Bible says to guard your heart with all diligence because out of it flow the issues of life. Everything that we are, everything that we do really flows from what's within, flows from our heart. And guys, listen, on Facebook and on the computer, we can download a lot of things, but I want to make sure that you download what's important. You download uh, the Word of God. And instead of focusing so much on Facebook, maybe we get in, you know, this book. And this is my daughter, Amani. We call her Superstar. And she wants a little bit of time with Daddy today, so I'm going to go. But God bless you. Tell somebody about Jesus. But more than anything, let's focus on what really matters. What really matters to him is a life that is pleasing uh, because a heart that is set aside for him is a heart that pleases God. And so God bless you. Tell somebody about Jesus and we'll see you next time on What Really Matters.